Hi, my name is Kayla Pegues, and this is my persuasive speech on how fast food is an unhealthy choice. And my audience tonight is my husband and my grandmother. Did you know that the leading cause of death in the United States is heart disease? And that isn't the only side effect of a poor diet. Fast food hurts our brain and our bodies. Fast food leads to chronic illness. Not only are we in a beast country, but we're killing ourselves with fast food. We're literally eating ourselves to death. According to a 2010 research study by the American Heart Association, since 1990, ob obesity rates in the states have doubled, and some states are up to 30%. Our country's sedentary lifestyle has rapidly evolved in the last 30 years, and younger generations now see it as a norm. There are different ways that our bodies handle fat storage, Fat primarily in the belly is considered lifestyle-induced obesity. This fat is insulin-resistant, which can be linked to a huge array of health problems, including diabetes and heart disease. Our modern healthcare technology has led to a decrease in heart disease deaths, but the number of adults between the ages of 35 and 45 having attack heart attacks is an undeniable look into the future of our society. According to the author, Dr. Agatston, if we don't change our society's lifestyle, our healthcare systems will always be overwhelmed with chronic illnesses. In a CDC report, it was stated that heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women. It says about 600,000 Americans die from heart disease every year, which equals out to about one in four deaths. Heart disease encompasses several conditions. The most common is coronary heart disease, which is, of course, a heart attack. This disease is caused by a buildup of plaque in your arteries, and this plaque can come from a high-fat diet. You might be thinking, hey, I work out, I eat right, this isn't my problem. But, in truth, it puts a burden on our economy as well. It's estimated that heart disease costs the United States $312 billion a year. Yes, that's a B, folks. Fast food also causes immediate damage to our bodies. It would seem that it would take a person years and years of unhealthy eating to amass the quantitative amounts to lead to death. But researchers are learning that that's not quite true. According to a research study at the University of Calgary, consuming just one ultra high fat meal from fast food shows immediate changes in our cardiovascular health. Healthy students were recruited in this study on health, on <laughs> health changes, and they were given two fast food greasy breakfast sandwiches. Within hours, the students showed the dilating capabilities of their arteries were reduced from 15 to 20 percent. Another immediate effect of fast food is a reduction in both memory and exercise performance. Andrew Murray of the Cambridge University in Britain found that rats performed worse in tasks of memory after eating a high-fat rat chow. Half of the rats were also trained to run on a treadmill, and after several days of the high-fat diet, they performed 30% less than they did before. Fast food is also bad for your brain. It's clear that a high-fat fast food diet is terrible for you in the short term and the long term and can even be attributed with death. 
A research paper by Rita Rausch of St. John's University in 2013 in New York analyzed multiple art articles reporting poor academic performance in association with an unhealthy diet. Furthermore, the research shows that a lack of nutritional food, as well as not having enough food, can be just as detrimental as having a diet of bad food. The good in all this research is that if the diet is corrected, these adverse cognitive deficiencies can be reversed. The damage isn't permanent, but it is vital that the nutritional deficiency be corrected. A diet of fast food can also be linked to depression and anxiety and hyperactivity. Dr. Alumenda Sanchez studied the diets of 12,000 people for six years. What he found was that an imbalance of fatty acids may make a person more prone to depression. The lack of omega-3 fatty acids, such as those found in fish, can change your mental state and lead to anxiety. Hyperactivity also comes from the high levels of artificial colors and preservatives found in fast food. A diet high in fat and artificial ingredients has been shown to lead not only to obesity and related diseases, but it also sets a person up for mental conditions such as anxiety and depression. I've shown evidence of the obesity epidemic that's taking our country by storm. Most states even doubling the number of obese individuals over the past 30 years. Chronic illnesses and even death have been shown to be side effects of a high fat diet. This is detrimental to our country as a whole, and it's costing us billions in healthcare and lost productivity. It's obvious that something needs to be done, and the only way to fix it is to stand together as a nation. Fast food is more than just an unhealthy choice. It is detrimental to the very survival of our species. Thank you very much.